And a pleasant and good morning sa atin lahat dyan. Good morning to all our participants. Welcome to our webinar. It's such a pleasure and a blessing to be with you all today. Many are still coming in, so but we really have to start our program right now, our webinar. I will be your host. My name is Yam De La Cruz. I am the manager of My Messiah Publishing House. And we welcome all our schools, teachers nationwide. Okay. Our webinar right now is entitled Understanding Personalities and Improving Relationships. Right. It's such an interesting topic, isn't it? That's why we're all here. This is going to be a very, very informative and helpful webinar because we all have personalities and we are all different. Iba -iba tayo. But how do we get along? We cannot be just like any um, loner in an island. We don't live in an island. We live in uh, in a community where in there are people around us. That's our topic for today. All right. So these are the many topics that we will be discussing in a while. By the way, if you are from any any part of the country or um, you can say good morning in your dialect so that we will learn a little a little about your dialect. No, if you're from Ilocos, if you're from the Visayas, please say good morning in your dialect. I will be very happy to see that good morning galing sa inyong lahat. Right, so how are we feeling today? Do you feel excited? Are you anxious? Do you feel happy? It's a Saturday. Do you feel tired? All right, do you feel tired? Ito na tayo. We're tired. Miss Yam, I'm tired because I just um, had a very busy weekend. Yes, we're all can all be tired but we can relax today we can we can listen to our webinar well for this morning we try to put aside negative vibes no and see if we can learn from each other after all we're talking about one another tama po ba so if you have any comments you can put it there in the chat box if you can react that's perfectly fine for us okay Right, so let me share with you some insights about this webinar. And I hope it will be beneficial for all of you. Okay, the main objective of this webinar is to help participants to know the overview of personalities and to know your own profile. We also learn, we also we'll, we'll also learn about the different nuances no, of these personalities and the variety of emotional needs. Everyone has emotional needs. Iba -iba po tayo. This webinar will also bring some insight on how we can relate effectively with people and eventually how to work well with people. So since we're all, a lot of us, I think, are all teachers, but we also have other works around us, we're able to uh, work well with these people. And as a bonus, a number of distinguished professionals will share their tips on self-care, not just for teachers, for everyone. Okay ba yun? Thumbs up po kayo kung okay yun. Excited na ba kayo? Uh, may added pa tayo later on. No? I, as your speaker later on, will also be answering your questions. So keep that chat box busy with your questions. Write lang all your comments, your questions later on. I will be there to answer it. I will also be your speaker for today. So that's the reason why I'm asking you as early as now to put in your questions uh, so that we can uh, I can answer it later on. Okay ba tayo dyan? Thumbs up ba tayo dyan? Or happy face? Or whatever reaction you want. It's fine. This is not a formal webinar. In fact, I will be talking in Taglish later on. All right. It is always a privilege to fellowship with co-educators like yourselves. To start our program, let us give honor to our country by singing our Philippine 
national anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay po ba? So I would assume na napakinggan po ninyo ako. So thank you sa opportunity to pray, to be part of this uh, webinar. So let's open our session with our um, with prayer to the Lord. So tayo po manalangin. Almighty Father, we praise your holy name for this wonderful day that you have given us. We have a lot of things to be grateful with. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong kabutihan. Today, as we conduct our webinar hosted by My Messiah Publishing, we ask of you that everything will be well from start to finish. Wala po nawang maging problema. Connectivity has always been a problem, ano ho? but uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, internet connection would just be fine until we finish our webinar. Lord, we also have an interesting subject to discuss with, understanding and improving relationships. My prayer is that it will give our listeners new perspective in life. And lastly, Lord, grant our speakers the necessary wisdom so they can communicate clearly the said topic and also our invited participants understanding so it will be a blessing to them and this learning experience can also be shared to others as well for your glory thank you lord once again i ask for blessing and we ask all of these things in christ's name amen and amen Amen. Thank you, po, Pastor. That was Pastor Elias Liwag of New Field Christian Church. Thank you and praise God for the opening prayer of Pastor Elias. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. So, amen. Amen. So, since I will be the one to speak about the topic today, it's just me, but we will share a lot. Right? So, let me share to you a little about myself before we. Um, present or give you my presentation. I am a graduate of BS Psychology from the University of Santo Tomas. If there's anyone there who is a uh, graduate of UST, hello sa inyo. I am a proud Tomasian. And I pursued my master's degree of arts in organizational development psychology at Ateneo de Manila University. And I took my basic management program from the Asian Institute of Management. So I have uh, a lot of previous work jobs now in usually in human resource development. So I have been positions in different companies from the Asian Institute of Management to a petrochemical company. And uh, I also work at a restaurant, Kabalen uh, restaurants, and at the sports center, celebrity sports club. I was also a program manager of the Asian Institute of Management, leading the education management program as well. And I have taught in um, Miriam College, formerly Mary Noll, and uh, Remedio C. Romualdez Memorial School in Makati. I have conducted 
numerous, a lot of programs and seminars, not only for teachers, but also for other organizations. Some of them would also include personality, communication, skills development, teacher curriculum, and effective communications, as well as team building. And uh, in the area of publishing, I am a manager of my Messiah Publishing House, and I have edited and produced 60, almost 60 textbooks in the, for children in the subject areas of English, reading, values, Filipino, social scientists, or Araling Panikunan, computers, and albums. I am married to a banker and entrepreneur, and I have three children and two beautiful granddaughters and two children. Um, I hope that you will enjoy this webinar as much as I have enjoyed preparing it for all of you. And if, if you can just put your perspective in place, this is also meant for team building. If you have your co-teachers with you, your co-workers, then this is a beautiful and best webinar to understand another in the workplace. So that is who I am. And at this point, I would like to give you my presentation, after which we will be giving you also the short um, uh, self-care tips from our uh, invited professionals. So enjoy the webinar at this point, and I'll see you back later for your question and answers. By the way, if you have questions already, put them all down, and I will try to answer them later, even during the the presentation. All right. So I'll see you later. Hello and good day sa inyo lahat, dear participants. Welcome once more to our webinar entitled Understanding Personalities and Improving Relationships. Nako, napakaganda naman ng ating webinar for this time, no? Because we are actually going to talk about you how you are different, and how you can improve your relationships and understand people around you. Now, let us consider so many differences among us. No, We are different in many ways. So let's take a toll. Let's try to find out um, how different are we. No, Simply lang itong ating magiging test for the moment. And uh, we'll see. We'll find out. You can answer when I ask you a question. You can answer by putting your answer in the chat box below, okay? So, let's start. What do you prefer to drink? Coffee or milk tea? Put your answers there in the chat box, okay? So, you can choose either coffee or milk tea. Um, probably, you don't have to choose both, no? Just one, okay? Okay na tayo? All right. Let's go to the next question. Where do you want to go in your next trip? Choose between Singapore or Japan. Okay. So habang meron pang time to go, wala pang pasok. So where do you want to go? Singapore or Japan? Habang mura pa yung ating uh, airfare. Okay. So answer. Next question, what do you prefer to do? Do you prefer to sing or do you prefer to dance? Filipinos love both, no? Alam ko yan. Pero what do you prefer to do? Sing or dance? Yan. Sulat. Sulat tayo. Chat box tayo, ha? Sige. So, makita yan para I can see how different we all are. Next question. Oh. What do you prefer to use on your on your foot, on your feet? Rubber shoes ba or sandals? Hmm. Di ba? Depende yan sa ulan or hindi. Pero kayo, what do you prefer to use? Rubber shoes or sandals? Sige, sulat tayo sa chat box natin. Okay, finish na? O ito yung next question ko ha. O yan, who do you prefer na banda? Yan ba si BTS or yan ba si Blackpink? Yan, makikita na natin ngayon kung sino-sino nga kayo dyan 
ang fans? BTS ba or Blackpink? Sige, sulat-sulat tayo. Okay? So, ang dami na nag... Okay, nagsusulat na. Okay, let's go to the next question. Ayan. What do you prefer to eat? Tapa or tosino? Parehong Pinoy yan. Tapsilog or tosilog? Parehong masarap yan. Sige nga. Let's find out. How different we all are. Sagot-sagot lang tayo sa ating chat box. Okay, so we're done. So we can see in our chat box, marami tayong differences talaga as persons. Some like it this way, some like it this way. Some like black, pink, some like BTS. So lahat tayo, maraming pagkakaiba. Dalawang choices lang to ha. Eh, sa buhay natin, we all have a lot of different personalities. Our reference for today is two books by Personality Plus at Work and Personality Plus by Florence Litauer. She is a Christian author. So you can see these books in Philippine Christian bookstores, national bookstore, or online. So you can order these books as well. I don't know. I am not going to promote it. But what I'm saying lang is these are my references for this particular webinar. And you can also read through them as well. Okay, let's talk about temperament. Have you ever heard of the word temperament? Siguro naman, you've heard about it, dear teachers. So let's talk about it for a while. In psychology, an aspect of personality concerned with emotional dispositions and reactions and their speed and intensity. In other words, ito po ay yung mood pattern of a person. A person's temperament is how they behave and represent themselves based on personality traits and impactful experiences. So we're talking about not personality, but tama kayo dyan, temperament, all right? So we're talking about the mood patterns of a person. Did you know that we are all born with our own temperament traits? Our raw materials, our own kind of rock. Ang tawag dito yung bato. Yung bato. Our type of rock doesn't change, but our shapes can be altered. Pwede mapalitan. And our circumstances like, example, IQ, nationality, economics, environment, parental influence, can mold our personalities, but our rock remains underneath the same. In fact, ang sabi ng marami psychologists, our temperaments are sometimes inherited from our parents. So, consider mo to ha. Kunyari, eh, pareho kayong ugali ng iyong mother or father or brother or sister. Yan ay dahil na sa temperament. Alright, so, that's what we have to consider at this particular point in time. So, let's talk about your temperaments. I hope you have taken the test already which we sent to your email this test will be able to know for sure or maybe a little a little um in uh insight about who you are and what temperament you are in if you haven't taken that test then please do so we'll put the link again in the in the chat box no para um you can follow and use this as your reference kasi sayang eh if you only knew what your temperament is you will be able to understand and go through this webinar that I am going to show you. Okay, so again, if you have not submitted or answered your personality test, then do so and follow the link in the chat box below. Okay, para we can all go through it together. And by the way, this webinar can also help you not only yourself, but also to um build up your team so if you have other team members beside you from your school or mahakailala nyo then you'll be able to understand them and build your team more so this is not just personality temperaments but also this is this can also be a webinar on tama, team building all right so let's continue 
According to Hippocrates, personality traits and human behaviors are based on four separate temperaments. Probably you've heard about these temperaments before, but we would like to um, tell you more and for you to discover what they are. So these separate temperaments are associated with four fluids or ang tinatawag nilang humors of the body. All right? So let's talk about choleric temperament. All right? Yung choleric temperament is associated with the yellow bile from the liver. So, mapait siya, bitter. Alright? When you talk about naman melancholic, which is this one, it is the black bile from the kidneys. Kaya black, no? Kasi toxic na. Maraming black na nasa kidney. When we talk naman about sanguine temperament, we talk about red blood. Yung from the heart. Yung bang high blood. Yung maraming dugo. Maraming pula. So, ito naman po yung sanguine na sinasabi natin. O, oh, meron na ba kayong mga sanguine dyan? Choleric and melancholic? Or baka kayo ay phlegmatic? Based on the short personality test. Alright. Ang phlegmatic naman na temperament, yun yung white phlegm. Yung <coughs> galing sa lungs. Yun yung malapot mabagal, kumilo, yun na yun, yun na yun. So, I will explain later. But these are the four temperaments based on four fluids of the body. So, remember that, no? Red blood, para sa sanguine, yellow bile, para sa choleric, black bile, para sa melancholic, tapos, phlegm, para sa phlegmatic. Alright? So, let's continue. We want to build our relationships based on our strengths. So, let's build on this. Wag sa weaknesses. Mamaya na natin malalaman yan. Pero let's build on our strengths. Okay. So, let's uh, read this. No? To si Ronald Reagan, yung dating presidente ng US, sabi niya, by working together, pooling our resources, and building on our strengths, we can accomplish great things. So, bear that in mind, mga kaibigan, no? Working together and pooling our resources, we can build and accomplish great things. All right? So, if you are a sanguine, I will call you a popular sanguine. Bakit? Ang strengths ng sanguine, and marami sigurado kayo dyan. So, just type in dito sa chat box natin. Kung kayo ay sanguine, ha? Kayo ay extrovert, talker, optimist, and these are your strengths. According to your emotions, kayo pa may appealing personality, talkative storyteller, kayo ay daldal, yung talk and talk and talk, life of the party, meron kang good sense of humor, at saka meron kang memory for color. Alam mo or alam niya na kung ano yung suot ng tao kahapon or last week, alam rin niya yung kulay ng pagkain na kinain niya years ago. At alam niya rin ang kulay ng kwarto niya nung siya ay bata pa. So, meron siyang memory for color. A sanguine physically holds on to listener. Kasi sa kakakwento niya, gusto niya lagi, nakikinig sa kanya, yung kausap niya. So, sasabihin niya lagi, Uy, hindi pa ako tapos. I'm not yet done with my kwento. Listen to me first. Tell me first if I you understand what I'm saying. So, ganun ang sanguine. Sila ay emotional and demonstrative. Marami silang mga Maram mannerisms, yun yung sanguine. They are enthusiastic and very, very expressive, cheerful, bubbling all over. Sila po yung madaldal, yung nakakatawa, yung tuwan-tuwa sa sarili nila. They are wide-eyed and innocent, lives in the present, curious, and always a child. Hindi sila childish. Always a child. May difference po yan, ha? Kasi ang childish, yung parang batang isip. Pero ito, ang feeling niya, gusto niya laging bata ang perspective. Okay. So, ito naman siya. If you're a parent and you're a sanguine, you make home fun. You are liked by your children's friends, no? When they bring your, their, their, their children 
when they bring their friends over to their house, tuwan tuwa sila kasi, ay, your mom, your mom and dad are so cool. Ganyan naman sila, no? They, uh, you turn disaster into humor. Kung may nabasag na salamin, nabasag ng baso, kasabi mo, oh, that's fine. It happens. Ganyan ang sangin. At saka sila ay circus master. Gusto na entertainment. Gusto nila mag-entertain to have fun, no? To have fun. Yan ang sanguin. Yan ang popular sanguin. Ito pa. As a friend, kung meron kayo sigurong friend na sanguin, ito siya. They make friends easily. They love people. They thrive on compliments. They seem exciting. They are envied by others. Bakit? Kasi tuwa sila lagi. Lagi sila nakatawa. Sige nga, mga sanguin, mawa nga kayo. Sige na ko nga kung talagang ganyan kayo, ha? Alright. They don't hold grudges. Bihirang-bihira lang ang sanguin na mag-hold ng grudge. Gusto nila masaya lahat. They apologize quickly. Kaya they don't hold grudges. They say sorry right away. Kunyari, nagalit, minagalit sa isang sanguin. Mabilis sila masaya. Uy, sorry ha. Kasi hindi ko sinasadya talaga. Presa tayo uli ha. Ganyan. Alright? They prevent down moments and they like spontaneous activities. Sila pa yung tipong, sige, let's go, let's go out. Ay, saan tayo pupunta? Ay, alam mo, gusto ko, saan tayo dito sa park, mag-picnic tayo, magdala na lang tayo ng baon natin. Magdala tayo ng biscuit, ng siopaw, kung ano man. Tapos, gawin natin magandang activity. Magdadala pa ako ng, ng, ano, ng saranggola o magdadala ako ng whatever. Para lang masaya. Gusto niya spontaneous activities. Ngayon, Sa trabaho naman ang pag-usapan natin sa sanguin. Siya ay nag-volunteer para sa trabaho. Madalas yan. They think up new activities and they look great on the surface. They are creative and very colorful. They love color. They have energy and enthusiasm. And they start in a flashy way. They inspire others to join and charm others to work. Ito ba yung tipong Pagka merong organization na gusto mag-party, kunyari, let's organize a party. Asa sabi ng sanguin kaagad, ay, ako, gusto ko, sama ako dyan. Ako ang gagawa ng party. Ako ang MC, ako yung host, ako mag magdadala ng lahat ng mga singers and dancers. Gusto ko, ako ang gagawa niyan. Please, ganyan ng sanguin. So, naiintindihan niyo ba kung what a sanguin is? They're very lovable people and they are extroverts. Remember, their strength is they are the forever optimist. O, mga sanguin, naiintindihan nyo ba kung why you are sanguin? And, may kilala ba kayo na mga sanguin dyan? Siyempre, no? Okay, so let's carry on. Eto na tayo, no? Perfect melancholy. Introvert, the thinker, the pessimist. Naku, meron palang ganito. Alright, that's fine. They're perfect. So, here we go. What are their emotions? So, mga perfect melancholics, andyan mo ba kayo? Alright, no? Put your name in the chat box. They are deep and thoughtful. They're very analytical. They're very serious and purposeful. They're very genius prone. Alam mo yung tipong close to genius, napakatalino. Alright? Talented and creative. Sila yung mga artistic at musical, philosophical and poetic, appreciative of beauty, sensitive to others, and self-sacrificing. They're very idealistic. Kung may kilala kayong artistic, hindi po ay autistic ha, artistic, at saka yung musical, sila po, mal malamang yan, melancholic po yan. Napaka introvert po yung mga yan. Pero marami silang strengths. As a parent, they set very high standards. They want everything done right. Of course, perfect melancholic yan eh. They keep home in good order. Yun yung mga bahay na everything in the right place. Nagpa 5S yung mga yan. Organized, malinis, hygienic. They pick up after children. Ibig sabihin, pag may kalat ang mga anak, pick up siya. Pag may kalat ang asawa, pick up din siya. And sacrifice his own will for others. Masyadong matinti nagsasakripisyo para sa ibang tao siya. And encourages scholarship 
and talent, no? So, ito yung parent na tipong, o oh, anak ha, you're supposed to pass or, you know, give good grades, no? Have you done your assignment? Okay ka na ba? Ha? Um, are you going to be valedictorian or salutatorian? Yan, may na mga perfect melancholic as parents. Let's talk about a melancholic naman as a friend. They make friends cautiously, quiet, cautiously, dahan-dahan. They are content to stay in the background. Dito lang kami sa background na avoids causing attention kasi nga introvert at thinker. Faithful and very devoted po ang mga melancholics. They will listen to complaints, no? Malamang uh, pwedeng counselor ito mga melancholics because they will listen and they will listen really, really well. They can solve others' problems because they are a good listener. They have deep concern for other people and they are moved to tears with compassion and they seek the ideal me. So, medyo emotional ang melancholic. Medyo um, ipakaiyakin din ng konti. Right? At work, they are schedule-oriented naman. No? Mahilig sila sa mga high standards. They are very detail-conscious. In fact, they are very persistent and thorough. So, in, so mahilig sila po sa mga graphs, charts, figures, lists. In fact, hindi ako magugulat kung yung melancholy sa mga work areas natin ay mga accountants, yung mahilig sa numero. They are very neat and tidy. Very economical as well. And they see the problems. They are the ones that find creative solutions. And they need to finish what is started. They need to know when to start something and they need to know the deadline. They set the deadlines. Mahili nga sila mag-planning. Alam niyo po, kapag kunyari there's a party, nasabihin ng sanguin, ah, ako, I want to volunteer, I want to volunteer. Tapos, ito si perfect melancholy, they will, she will say, he or she will say, Sige, gawa tayong party. Ito yung plano. Ito yung budget. Ito yung deadline. Gagawin natin to. So, siya ang taga-plano. Si Sanguid yung taga-imbita ng mga darating. Siya yung gagawa ng paraan para masaya. Ito si melancholic. Siya po yung gagawa ng plano. Okay? Dapat perfect. Siya yung mag-iisip na baka magkaroon ng problema. May plan A, B, hanggang plan Z, Zeta. Yan ang perfect melancholic. O, yung mga perfect melancholics dyan. Tama ba ako sa sinabi ko? Or do you have any friends who are melancholics? Do they fit the mold that I'm saying now? Let's go naman sa perfect, uh, sa, I'm sorry, sa powerful choleric. Ito ay extrovert. Doer, optimist, and you got it right. Sila po ay mga leaders. No? So, ito yung emotions nila. They're born leaders. They're very dynamic and active. They're compulsive need for change and they must correct the wrongs. Hindi nila kaya maintindihan kung bakit may mali. They need to correct it. They're very strong-willed and decisive. And madalas, they're very unemotional. No, unemotional, not easily discouraged. Sila yung fight, fight, fight. Sila yan. Tapos, they're independent and they're very self-sufficient. They exude confidence. Napaka-confident ng mga choleric. And they can run anything. Magaling sila mag-lead ng team. As a parent, sila, as a parent, a choleric exerts some leadership. Siyempre, leader, no? They establish goals for the family. They motivate the family to action. And they know the right answers. And they organize the household. Kung yung melancholic parent is the one that does, no? gagawa siya ng mga plano, ito si powerful choleric. Sila, siya naman ang mag-organize ng household. No? So magandang partnership talaga yan. As a friend naman, si powerful choleric, parang he or she doesn't need little, uh, need friends, no? Okay na sa kanya yung paunti lang. He or she will work for group activity. 
he or she will lead and organize. Usually, right? And nag-excel to sa emergencies, ha? Emergencies. At work naman, they're very goal-oriented. They see the whole picture. They are organized very well. They seek practical solutions. Sila yung tipong street smart na. They know what to do. And they have a whole lot of suggestions to give to solve a problem. They move quickly to action. They delegate work. They insist on production. Makes the goal. Stimulates activity. And they thrive on opposition. Kahit kontrahin mo si choleric, okay lang. Magta-thrive yan. In fact, nacha-challenge yung choleric because extrovert yan, doer. At the same time, optimist pa. So born leader yung mga cholerics. Alright? So kung may party, ang choleric ang maglilid. Na? Ah, siya ang mag-a-assign. O ikaw sangui na, you're the one who's supposed to invite the clown. O melancholic, you make the budget. Alright? O ikaw naman, basta siya ang gagawa ng lahat ng trabaho para magawa ng iba. Siya mag-a-assign. At kung pangkaroon ng mga problema, asahan nyo, this powerful choleric will do his or her job because she or he is the born leader. So, meron ba tayong mga powerful cholerics in our group? Or do you have um, friends or family members who are cholerics? Meron at meron yan. No? So, thank God for these powerful cholerics. They are our leaders. So, let's go naman to peaceful phlegmatic. Ito naman, introvert, watcher, the pessimist. Pero may strengths naman siya. Emotions niya ay low-key. Napaka-low-key niya. Easy-going, relaxed, calm and cool and collected. Patient and very well-balanced ang mga phlegmatic. Consistent sila sa life. They're quiet but very, very witty yan. May dry sense of humor yan eh. Sympathetic and kind. They keep emotions to themselves. Maraming pagtitimpi ang ginagawa nitong si phlegmatic. They, happily, they are happily reconciled to life and they are an all-purpose person. Kahit sa mo silang ilagay, pwedeng-pwede siya. Magta-try pa rin siya. All-purpose flour, all-purpose cream, ay basta all-purpose person siya. As a parent, let's look at um, phlegmatic as a parent. He, he or she makes a good parent, actually. Takes time for the children, not in a hurry. Siya yung tipong, sige, let's not be in a hurry, let's take our time. Ganyan siya sa mga bata. They can take the good with the bad. Kung merong good, babalansin niya with the bad. Okay lang siya. And they don't get upset easily. Hindi sila yung palaaway, palagalit. Hindi siya ganon. Ang parent na phlegmatic ay very good. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na the others are not good parents. But this parent is the one that is very, very patient with the children. What else? As a friend, they're very easy to get along with. They're pleasant and enjoyable. They're inoffensive. They don't want to offend people. They're very good listeners. Kaya nga, magaling silang counselors. Magaling silang, actually, magaling silang um, psychiatrists as well. They have a dry sense of humor and they enjoy watching people. Nalagay mo lang sila sa coffee shop. They can stay there for hours. They're just listening. O kaya, they're just looking at people. No, they watch people. They make stories out of this. They are very amused by watching people. They have compassion and they have concern for people. Now at work, a peaceful phlegmatic is competent and steady, peaceful, agreeable. They have administrative ability. They can do work from start to end. Yun at yun. Kunyari, they do encoding or they do lagging or they do basta yung repetitive na trabaho gagawin ng phlegmatic yan 
kasi they avoid conflict as well. So in the workplace, sila yung peacemaker. Ayaw nila ng away. Sila yung nag-mediate. Actually, magaling sila. Human resource people. Di ba? They are very good under pressure. Steady lang sila. No? Kahit magkaroon ng maraming stress sa paligid nila, okay lang. Flip lang ng hair. Tapos, they're fine. They find the easy way out. In fact, ayaw nila ng stress. They try to avoid it as much as possible. So, yung peaceful phlegmatic, siya yung tipong pag may party, siya yung nasa background. Siya yung gagawa ng lahat ng mga ayong gawin ng, ng sanguine, choleric, at saka ng melancholic. Siya lang yung nasa background. She or he will do parang the dirty job. Alam niyo yun, they're the ones who will actually um, do the detailed work of planning a party. So, how are you in terms of recognizing your temperament? Are you a sanguine, phlegmatic, choleric, or melancholic? Can you recognize yung mga family members nyo or even your teammates pagka we're talking about the temperaments? Probably you are, no? Kasi in my own family, we have one very powerful choleric. We have a very fun-loving sanguine. And of course, we have also a very phlegmatic person. And, nag natin kakalimutan, meron ding kaming melancholic na member of the family. So, marami kaming mga members of the family that are included in these four categories of temperaments. How about you? Chat kayo sa box para marinig natin o makita natin yung mga comments nyo kasi very interesting talaga itong um, temperament sa mga tao. Now, since most of us are teachers, let's talk about teachers naman, no? Kasi marami sa ating mga teachers. Ano-ano ba ang temperaments as teachers? And I am not going to share with you everything, but this is a particular um, um, table wherein you can see na yung choleric, ay yung simbolo niya ay elephant. Yung butterfly, ang simbolo naman niya ay yeah, ang sanguine pala, I'm sorry, ang sanguine, ang kanyang um, simbolo ay butterfly, ang phlegmatic turtle, and ang melancholic beaver. So alam nyo na, you know, you understand this. And the, the wonderful thing about this table is, there are basic styles that we are talking about here. The basic styles of a teacher based on the temperament. Example, Ang basic style ng choleric is active, assertive, and very straightforward a teacher. The sanguine, on the other hand naman, enthusiastic, gregarious, impulsive, and very reactive ang basic style niya. When it comes to the phlegmatic, the basic style of this teacher is controlled, disciplined, friendly, and very low-key. And of course, for the melancholic, we have a logical, precise, reserved, and very sensitive style of teaching. All right? Now, ang maganda rito is, of course, we have under pressure. This under pressure, no, this means that many times teachers become pressured or become under pressure when a choleric, tungkol sa mga sarcastic, Blunt and critical people, ayo ng choleric yan. Sanguine naman, ayo naman, they don't want superficial, unrealistic, and inconsistent people. When it comes to the phlegmatic, they, do, they don't want grudge holders, submissive, and indecisive people. And of course, for the melancholic, they don't like critical, strict, and buckbusters. Yung mga backpassers, yung bang blamers, they don't like this. So they become pressured. So this is a very good table. And um, it's good to see all of these relationships. If you, if you can study your own temperament, you can see exactly what are your keywords, basic aim, priority, what you seek, 
your basic style, your fears, your under pressure, and your motivation. All right? So, let's continue po. So, since we are teachers, and most of us are teachers, we are going to paint the classroom with temperament kids. So, temperamental kids or kids that are different temperaments are also existing in our classroom. As I said, kasi di ba? These are, um, you're born with it. So, even kids, they will possess or they will have these temperaments with them already. So, let's look at them, no? And they are being classified under colors naman. Kaya, painting the classroom with temperament kids. Iba-ibang kulay yan. Para siya ang colors of the rainbow. So, are you ready for this? Okay, so let's get it on. Okay. So, let's talk about the sunny sanguine. Ang sunny sanguine are very well balanced and light on their toes. They're really the ones who are just happy. They're just so happy. They talk a lot. They are usually very slender because they're very active. They positively bounce through life. They're pagdating nila teacher, teacher, or I want to tell you something, teacher. I I went to this um to this uh, coffee shop and I did this. Uh, teacher, we went to the beach. This is what we did. Storyteller, she, iba. Ang sunny sanguine. Their gestures are graceful and lively, and they speak they speak eloquently. After using, often using flowery language. Nikilala akong ganito, pamangkin ko. Very powerful, a uh, very flowery ang kanyang language. They are usually bubbly and in a good mood. Lagi silang happy. Almost always smiling. And they tend to flip like a butterfly from one activity to the next, mainly enjoying social activities. Sila yung mahilig sa mga program sa mga dances sa mga singing sila yon no so that is a sunny sanguine so if, do you have anyone in your classroom who is a sunny sanguine i'm sure you have sanguines or bo little boys or girls that are sanguines they notice everything ko ano yung suot ni teacher yesterday so ano suot yan today ano hairstyle ni teacher they will always know who said what and who gets on with who in the classroom no, um, your attitude is kind. They're very sympathetic, but they can be changeable. No, impatient and unreliable too. No, so sometimes it's hard to catch their attention. These very sunny sanguines of ours. You really have to be very creative when you talk to them. So, pero masaya na merong sunny sanguines sa classroom, di ba? And so, can you recognize kung sino mga sunny sanguines nyo? I'm sure you have, no? I'm sure. Okay. Ito naman si Crimson Red Colerics. No? Natural leader, determined, energetic, and very goal-oriented. Sina po yung short, stocky learner? Madalas may salamin, minsan wala naman. Pero they're really, really into books. They really are very, um, they just want to read also. But they are also, very friendly, outgoing child who gets along well with adults and peers. Uh, very mature socially, no? They thrive on new experiences. They adapt well to classroom routines. And they are very rarely upset or angry. When they do lose their temper, it can be fiery as they are determined in nature and possess a strong will. They are very strong-willed children, all right? As a result, because they are very strong-willed, they can prove challenging at times, no? Kasi they have their way. They want, they have their will. So sometimes you just have to, you know, tell them who the boss is, that is teacher, or who is in authority at that particular situation in time. All right, let's go to moody blue melancholics. Alam niyo na ito, no? Di ba? Some of you are melancholics, you will identify this kind of child. They are usually they usually appear large, bald headed, and heavy limbed. You no, know? their walk is slow and drooping with a sliding gait. Their eyes and gestures will seem mournful or even tragic. They are speaking hesitantly. You no, know? 
sila po yung moods, ma-moody sila. So melancholics are very sensitive souls. They tune into people and situations and notice the finer details about their surroundings. No? Their social skills are sometimes, no? sometimes lang naman, limited. Usually only showing sympathy for self, fellow sufferers. No? They may appear isolated many times. They are self-sacrificing and they do not like to grab center stage. When you put a melancholic in front to dance, they don't like it. They want to be in the background. They don't want to be the MC or the host. Bigay mo yang kay sanguine. They usually are in the background. They are the ones that are supportive only. Okay? Melancholic children tend to be very musical. So when they're musical, they play musical instruments. No? Their attention to detail helps them hear tones and harmonies. So they play their instruments with unparalleled precision. I know of a child who started playing piano when he was four years old and he never stopped playing. But he is a melancholic. All right. So when he is moody, he plays the piano. When he is happy, he plays the piano. In fact, the instrument becomes part of him already. So many times, um, the melancholic will have a musical instrument or will have something else like a doll or probably an action figure or maybe a toy that they want to play often or a pillow. This is usually their way of... Um, calming themselves when they are in, in, a, in a very bad mood. Okay? And of course, peaceful green phlegmatics, ang cute niya, no? The phlegmatic child moves slowly and lacks vitality. It's very often sluggish and monotone and often mistaken for being boring. Siya yung tipong mag-isa lang siya, he's alone or she's alone, pero a very strong-willed learner who must be given ample time to complete a task. The phlegmatic child is somebody who has difficulty finishing a task. Writing takes time for him or her. Marami ng tapos ng mga estudyante classmates niya, siya hindi pa. Ninihintay na lang siya ni teacher matapos. O kaya, when older children, they submit their assignments, their projects late or close to the deadline. All right? They are like that. They, they tend to procrastinate. Be careful about your choice of words for these little kids, no? As they tend to interpret everything literally. He or she will usually do exactly what you ask, but nothing more. Exacto lang. Say, John John, do this, get the paper, and John John will get the paper. But uh, he or she, John John will wait for the next instruction from the teacher. He will not initiate unless you tell him. That's, that's a child na phlegmatic. He's usually very bright, but appears slow because he lacks the sufficient time to finish whatever he has started. Because nga, mabagal, phlegmatic. He tends to daydream a lot and has difficulty focusing. This is not... Um, compared to uh, attention deficiency, no. It's just that mm, nadidistract lang siya with so many things and he tends to daydream, di ba? Yung isip-isip, sana I'm not here, sana I'm at home playing with my computer or my laptop or sana I am somewhere else. Nagda-daydream. So teachers, when you see this in a phlegmatic child, you know that you have to catch the attention of this child no okay and prove and uh, tell him na he must be in the classroom or he must pay attention no so these are the four temperaments in the classroom they are the four colors of children of course as i said there are mixtures or combinations which i will go into in a short while but these are phlegmatic, uh, these are children in your own classroom, even in your families, no, you can see them. No? Um, as I said, 
temperaments can be inherited from their parents. So, if example, if you're a parent and you're a sanguine, you might have or you might be able to have a person or a child who is a sanguine like yourself, no? Parang manang mana sa iyo, no? Manang mana. Yeah. So, I'd like to share a video. This is a entertaining video, short video about how one can describe best um, the four temperaments. No, it is subtitled, so just play at pay attention. But it is a very informative and funny video as it is. Let's watch this video. All right. So, yes, wasn't that funny? So, you can see all four temperaments in that video. And it is very amazing, no? Kasi um, that person, Zizak, uh, was actually trying to portray all four at the same time, no? I don't know. Maybe he's really a sanguine. Kasi if a person can do that, sanguine siya. But isn't it amazing to see all of these four? They're very different. And yet, you can, you can see them um um having a light note about um the strength and the weaknesses of these four temperaments all right so can you actually just envision yung inyong sarili as one of the temperaments because we're all very different and we can recognize differences in others so that's the reason why we have this webinar so that we can recognize as well our own differences in others. And what are these differences? So let's look into it, no? Let's find out. According to Christine Kane, to build a strong team, you must see someone else's strength as a complement to your weakness and not as a threat to your position or authority. All right? So when dealing with popular sanguines, 
they are best in dealing with people enthusiastically. They are um, best in expressing thoughts with excitement and in upfront positions of attention. They put them in a position of attention, they will be glad and be happy about it. So these are where popular sanguines are best. Let's talk about the best. Perfect melancholics, they are best in attending to details and in deep thinking, in keeping records, charts, and graphs, and in analyzing problems so difficult for others. So when you have a problem, maybe it's too difficult for you, you can ask a melancholic and they will be at best to solve the problems for you in these areas no? using records, charts, and graphs. Okay, so let's continue. So how about the powerful choleric? They are best in jobs that require quick decisions. They are quick to think on their feet. No, They are in spots that need instant action and accomplishments. They thrive in emergencies, diba? if you remember, I told you a while ago. And in areas that require strong control and authority, they have natural leadership quality. So they are strong in controlling and when they will exert their authority. So this is what's best about cholerics. And of course, these phlegmatics are best in positions of mediation and unity. Yung mga nag-aaway-away, ayan na si phlegmatic, siya yung mag gigit na magmimediate in storms that need a calming hand when all things are magulo you know there is um war among children and parents or anyone else no the peaceful phlegmatic is best here and of course in routines that may seem dull to others yung tipong corny yung boring these are good for phlegmatics. They will thrive in it. All right. So, how can we help each other? This webinar is not just about knowing what your, your um, temperament is, but how we can help each other together. Right? Because we need to be able to support one another and to help one another. Hindi po ba? We will not leave without this. How can we help each other? Okay, so here is a popular sanguine. And as, you sa as I said, they are the talker, the optimist, and the extrovert. They need to organize because they talk too much. They have so much to say. And yet, they're very disorganized. So what do they have to do? Ito po siya, they have to talk as much as we talk half as much as before, lesson and talk, Watch for signs of boredom. Baka na ma-bored na talaga yung kausap mo, kakakwento mo. Then you should be very sensitive, dear sanguine. Condense your comments, huwag masyado mahaba, and stop exaggerating. Kasi minsan, the popular sanguine, since storyteller yan, they tend to exaggerate, I mean, a lot of what they're saying. So sometimes, over the bounds, over the boundaries. They say, you're sharing too much. Okay, and then, ang listener niya is bored already. Popular, dear, popular sanguines are too self-centered. So they should be able to be more sensitive to other people's interests. And you should learn, dear popular sanguine, to listen also. Not just to talk. Kasi, isa lang ang bibig, dalawa ang tenga. So you should listen also, no? Because others have something to say as well. Popular sanguine, you have uncultivated memories. So sometimes you forget names, you forget writing down things. So it helps to remember names, remember um, details, no? And to write things down para hindi kayo makakalimot, no? Kasi sometimes quick decisions, gusto nyo spontaneous, pero there are times when you need to also pay attention to many details. So try your best, no? To write things down, mag journal, mag um, diary, or mag planning, mag planner, mag list, to do list. That's more important for a popular sanguine. And then, madalas, they are fickle and forgetful of friends, meaning to say, um, they change their mind very often. So, 
let's try popular song way to keep in touch with friends always, ha? And put others, other needs first. Um, medyo sometimes, medyo may pagka-self, um, self-attend, may, may attention to self. Itong si popular song yun. So, we should be able to put other needs first also. And then keep in touch with friends, no? You know, Facebook, um, Messenger, Viber, whatever. Keep in touch with them. It's very easy now to pe- keep in touch with friends, no? And then they interrupt and answer for others. Ibig sabihin, nagsasalita pala yung tao, tinatapos na nila ang sentence, which is not sometimes very appealing because there are times we're in, the person has something to say pa, and then the popular song will just finish the sentence and let's get it on. Parang ganon. So, don't think that you must fill all the gaps, no? Because um, the person is talking and the person has something to share. So you should be able to listen as well. Dear popular sanguine. Many times, a sanguine is all over the place once everything done at the same time. Thus, they are disorganized and immature. Immature meaning um, they, they don't mind uh, setting the goals and then finishing it no they think na they can do it some other time o kaya they can they can um um reschedule it some other time o kaya they can improvise no but they need to pull life together pull your life together and grow up meaning if you're if you think you're immature because people may think you are then you have to be able to grow up as well so become a true friend, no? Become a true friend because a popular sanguine needs also uh, friends and to be a good friend. All right? So okay ba tayo dyan, popular sanguine? These are just suggestions for you to improve and for others to be able to understand the popular sanguine. Let's go to perfect melancholic. They are easily depressed. Madala sila, very depressive, no? They, they're, they're very pessimist. So realize, no, dear melancholy, that no one likes gloomy people. Nobody wants to be with a person na lagging mega, negative vibes. They don't look for trouble and they don't want to get hurt. They don't, you don't want to get hurt easily. So look for positives. Be grateful. Uh, see the world in a different perspective. In pink huge glasses or look at the glass that is half full not half empty or be grateful by always um thanking people around you just being alive just being vertical when you stand up no um nobody wants to be kasi uh, along uh, among depressed people kasi marami na nga depressed na yon mahirap pang makasama ang depressed so you have to also help yourself. They have low self-esteem, madala. So search out the source of your insecurities. Find out why you have sometimes low self-esteem. There is a reason. There might be some events that happened or you might be able to see yourself in a better life when you change certain things like your hairdo or the way you, you talk or the way you um. Uh, interact with people, no? the way you use language. So search out the source of your insecurities. Why? Um, because there's also there's always a solution no? to problems. No, It's just a matter of searching and finding out what is best for you. Um, melancholics, they tend to procrastinate. Why? Because they, um, they have so much plans. No, They want this plan to be exactly as it is. But there are times where you don't um, complete the plan. Eh? You don't um, accomplish it in accordance to plan. So they tend to procrastinate until such time as it is ready. The time is ready. But there are times when you just need to do the job and complete the task yourself. Especially when you're talking about um, work or you're talking about um, something that has to be done at home. So get the right things before starting and don't spend too much time planning because yeah planning is good but too much planning is not also beneficial because you're not um you're not giving yourself enough leeway in terms of 
doing other stuff, no? Um, you're just so steadfast in planning, and that's it. Perfect melancholics, uh, they put unrealistic demands on others because you have very high standards, especially on children or on your spouse or even on yourself. So just relax your standards, relax. Um, there's so many things that you can do, and yet um, when you try to be too unrealistic or demand too much on others, they tend to pull you down as well because they tend to go away from you because they don't want that as well. So be grateful you understand your temperament. Be grateful even at that, no? that you understand that you are a melancholic, you are a thinker, and yet you tend to look at things in a more pessimistic manner. No? So um, suggestion um, is to not everything in life can be perfect. No? Not everything can be perfect. So relax, chill. Chill ka, no? Ang daming coffee shop dyan. Ang daming lugar na pwede puntahan. Ang daming parks. Ang daming Netflix na pwede mong panoorin. Ang daming Korean novela, no? So, chill lang. Relax lang, no? Because there are things that cannot be done and uh, things that even you might be able to put aside first. Now, the powerful choleric, they are compulsive workers. Talagang workers sila. Talagang they need to put things right they need to just literally um pound no pound talaga the work but they they're they're powerful choleric you will have to learn to relax as well no? take the pressure of others Wag masyadong ma pressure para kang pressure cooker because nobody likes also that much no and then you try to plan leisure activity um like the sanguine who is very um you know, spontaneous, no? You can also learn from the sanguine by learning to um, be more, um, you know, plan leisure activity, like walking the mall or or even just to walk in your garden or, alam mo yon. So, um, okay yung compulsive worker, but you really need to relax. Um, sila po yung mga madalas magkaka-heart attack or stroke because you're not relaxing, so you need to do this. Um, the powerful choleric must be in control. So, but you cannot control everything, hindi po ba? No? Nobody can control everything. You can control yourself, but not the world around you. So, respond to other leadership because there are other leaders that are also on top of you. So, Ikaw, eh, hindi lang ikaw ang leader, marami pa, no? And sometimes you can be a follower as well, no? So, no look down on others and stop manipulating, no? Uh, avoid pala manipulating because when you manipulate, others will see you as controller. You're, you're, you just want the job well, no? So, um, be more be more sensitive to relationships because they are, these are very important. For, for you as well. The powerful choleric, they have difficulty handling people. That is very true because they are leaders. They see the top of the pyramid. They see down. No? They are in leadership positions. So um, our suggestion is maybe to practice patience. No? Be more patient. Keep advice no? until asked. Madalas, magbibigay ng advice na it's not called for anyway. So don't give unsolicited advice. Tone down your approach and you can stop arguing because sometimes people just don't want to argue. They just want you to listen and get advice, pero not to argue, not to the point of argument. They are right but unpopular, sabi nila. No? Yes, there are things that they do that are right. Tama sila. Kasi they think, they act, and they are in leadership positions. But they are very unpopular. So they feel that unpopularity. Cholerics feel like they're alone. And the last, they feel that they're alone, that they're fighting a fight by themselves. No? And so they, they need to reach out to other people and have relationships to have contacts, to have um, networks that will support them, no? co-leaders as well. So let someone else be right. No? Um, perspective lang. Palita lang po natin, dear choleric, no? If you think you're right, then another person thinks they're right. So meet in the middle or just respect you know, the position of the other person because they feel and think that they are right as well. And then learn to apologize because there are times where you hurt people because you want the job done 
or you want things to be um, according to what you think is right because you're leading the group. But learn to apologize because people will recognize na you are um, careful also and caring of the needs of others. And then you have to admit also that you have some faults. No? As much as you apologize, you have to say that you also make mistakes. No? Uh, everybody makes mistakes. And a person, a leader, is more respected actually when the person admits or a leader admits na he or she has made a mistake and is willing also to apologize and willing also to change based on how people would react on this person or on the leader. So um, as much as you give advice, seek out advice as well. How can I learn? How can I improve as a leader? Or how can I improve as a dad? How can I improve as a mom? No? Kasi choleric ka. You need the help of other people to do that. So, ito yung suggestions for the powerful choleric. Okay, so let's go naman. Dito naman kay Isko Phlegmatic. Akala mo walang problema. Pero ito siya. Hindi sila exciting. In other words, boring. You know, sometimes again, hindi na sila sa tabi. Eh, uh, try to get a little more enthused. Ibig sabihin, try to get more excitement in your life. No? Hindi naman ibig sabihin na maging sanguine ka. Pero, um, learn a craft, learn something exciting, go into sports, no? kahit ping pong lang yan, o kaya anything that will keep you excited. Um, madalas, ito si phlegmatic, they resist change because they want things only from start to end, yun ang gagawin ko. No? They can stay in a job for years and years doing the same thing. Pero, that means you're not accepting change. And change pa naman ngayon is all over the place. Like this pandemic has, has taught us to change, to be ready for change. So phlegmatics, even if you think you're peaceful, but you need to try to um, something new, no? Try something new. Try to uh, not resist change, but to accept it, embrace it, and to be able to use it to be able to improve yourself. Because change is not bad. It's not bad. But uh, resisting it is bad for you because you might affect your health as well, no? And they seem lazy kasi nga, pragmatic, alam mo yung mabagal, yung quiet lang siya, tahimik lang siya, watch lang siya ng watch, pero they seem lazy. But actually, you seem lazy, but the only reason for this is because you procrastinate. You put off until tomorrow what you can do today. So try to motivate yourself. What motivates you? Um... A commercial will say, kanino ka bumabangon? Okay? So what motivates you? Is it, is it work? Is it your relationship? Is it finding out uh, love? Or is it um, seeking out new friendships? Or going ab uh, on a trip anywhere? No, not necessarily abroad. So what motivates you? What motivates you? And try to put that in your heart. Para parang meron kang Parang hindi ka parang lalamya-lamya kasi syempre, uh, people when see you, parang heavy ang feeling kung um, you seem malamya or lazy, alright? Peaceful phlegmatics as well, they have quiet will of iron. Alam mo yun, kahit na kunyari they're, they're quiet but they have this will na they cannot just change. It's an iron will. So they need to communicate their feelings. You need peaceful phlegmatic. You need to communicate your feelings. Hindi pwede yung tinitimpi. Tapos later on, sasabog na parang vulkan. Yan na mahirap dyan. Because people around you don't know how you feel or your reaction. So be more communicative of your feelings. You don't have to talk about it. You can write it down. You can um, be able to send um, messages to people around you na, you know, uh, you're not okay, no? So, learn to tell, say about your feelings. And then, madalas, ang phlegmatic, they appear wishy-washy. They change their minds. Why? Because they like to please people. They love to please people. So, let's try to practice making decisions on your own, no? If you say this, then that's it. No, if it changes, well, because there is something that happened, then communicate why you changed your mind. Because 
nobody wants um yung mga wishy-washy yung bang um your decision cannot be trusted on or your yes is sometimes a maybe ganun no mahirap yun eh so learn to say no if it's really a no and say yes if you're really committed to a yes all right because nobody wants a uh, change a quick change alam mo ang pinakamahirap sa isang phlegmatic is when you change your mind and you're talking to a choleric and the choleric is somebody who makes a decision so it clashes they clash together so my suggestion is learn to say no and practice making the right decisions and then follow through follow through no because there are people who are dependent on your decisions as well so um dear phlegmatic gawin natin yan na para medyo okay tayo in our relationships so here are some you know useful thoughts naman no? these are thoughts that i gathered on um anywhere and everywhere so let's say na everyone can have a primary and secondary temperament no totoo yan in fact when you took your test there is a primary and there is a secondary temperament and there are combinations of different tem temperaments actually in personalities there are very many tests of personalities but this is something that i want to share with you these temperaments may be balanced or one is more dominant than the other so there is no perfect na purely sanguine ka or purely phlegmatic no there's a combination so sanguine and melancholics are opposites so they cannot be together Ibig sabihin, for you if you are a sanguine you cannot also be a melancholic hindi pwedeng combination na yun because you can be one or the other but not both you cannot be both cholerics and phlegmatics are also opposites so you can be one or the other but not both no if your test shows this maybe you, you have to retake no but it cannot be na choleric and phlegmatic ka, you know, you know, at the same time choleric melancholic combinations work hard and expect excellence so very good yan in work phlegmatic and sanguine naman combinations are balanced and make things fun so pwede ka maging phlegmatic and the secondary mo is a uh, combination is a sanguine pwede yon pwede phlegmatic melancholic combinations are purposeful and balances no and balance pala i'm sorry balance yan and choleric sanguine combinations work hard and make things fun also all right so maraming ways na these are combinations that can happen um in a person and these are tips really general tips on how to get along with people no and you've probably heard this before but since now that you are already familiar or aware of who you are in a temperament scheme no these are tips that you can be used for you like for instance listen with the intent to understand no um stephen covey said that most people do not listen with the intent to understand no they listen with the intent to reply it is sabihin there are times when we're listening pero there are times na when we listen we're already thinking of what we will reply but our intent really of listening is to understand the person no because the person is sharing something so when you're listening your intent is to understand so what does that mean and do you listen intently not with your cell phone with you or listening to the radio or tv or watching your favorite tele korea novella or anything like that it's the intent of listening talaga because that's the purpose of listening it's to understand what the person is trying to say no walk also in their shoes try to find out uh, if i were in her shoes what would it be like how would i react would i react the same way then then, then you'll be able to understand if the person kunyari, is a phlegmatic and you understand already that that is how he or she is then try to figure out now if you're in her shoes and she is in that kind of a temperament how would you also feel uh, would you feel hurt would you feel um um disappointed in yourself or 
would you feel um, happy in, 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 a, in a situation? So we need to also walk in their shoes once in a while, no? Para it literally means intindihin natin and understand kung saan sila at that point in time. Alright? Next, of course, be polite, no? Here is a number of other um, synonyms for polite, no? Meron respect, meron unpretentious, courtesy, meron marami, well-mannered, cultivated, decent, gentle, respectful. So, these are all being polite, no? So, everyone needs politeness. In school, we are taught to be polite to our teachers, to our um, visitors, to the principal, to our parents. So, politeness is uh, required of people towards other people. If you can be polite to animals, no? You can also be, of course, you should be polite to other people because Politeness means you are treating the person in accordance to the human standards that God has put us to treat other people, no? The way we want to be treated, So let us be polite, no? In all aspects, no? If you value the person you're talking to or relating to, then you need to give a polite answer, polite gesture, polite action. We need to be polite, right? Next. So, if you have any reactions, just react po dyan in the chat box. And we will also... And by the way, if you have questions, we have a question and answer portion after my talk uh, with our host. So, uh, keep your um, questions coming in so that we will be able to answer those questions in a bit. Always take the opportunity to say a kind and encouraging word to or about someone. To or about someone. Because when you talk about someone to another person and you do not give in an encouraging word, then it reflects on you, all right? Not on the person. So be encouraging. Give an encouraging word because everyone needs to be encouraged especially these days this time we all need to be encouragers so let's put a word of encouragement and damning pwedeng gawin to encourage a person not just a word no even in action like for instance sending messages that are encouraging and damning ganyan sa internet or um, in messenger or viber whatsapp in facebook and we also need to act out our encouragement no by sending something to the person uh, especially if a person is low or anybody a love language is also important no if you know your love language and the person's love language then anything that will show love and encouragement to the person yan po ang gagawin natin kasi po regardless of whether they are this temperament or that we all need to be encouraged in one point at a time Show interest in others, no? Of course, we need to show interest because there are people around us who are working, who are with us, who are related to us, and you should show interest in what they're doing. It's not like, you know, they come into your life and then they leave you. What's the purpose, no? You need to be involved with them. Show interest means you have to be involved with them. You have to be able to understand them and be able to be with them when it comes to their own struggles and their own victories no so show interest how do we show interest my way of showing interest actually is asking how are you what happened to your day a simple question as what did you have for lunch and then we start talking about other stuff okay um how do you feel today or was there anything good or bad my kids, when we were very, they were very young, we would ask them in the dinner table, give us one thing that has happened to you in a good way today and another thing that is not so good. And um, it helps us to understand where they were coming from when they were very young and to also encourage them and help them in their struggles in the news na hindi maganda. So show interest in others. Of course, we should always keep an open mind, no? 
hindi lahat ng tao pare-pareho. So we should be able to expand our minds so that we'll be able to understand people, expand our horizons, expand our understanding as well of other people. So keep an open mind, dear participants, para hindi tayo parang kulong sa ating mga utak. Of course, I said kanina, listen intently with the intention talaga of listening. And of course, when they ask for something, you'll be able to respond. Ito, very important, be positive, especially at this particular point in time we're in. We are slowly going to face to face. We have so many struggles and anxiety. I believe that you, uh, some of you, have already attended our last webinar, no? Earlier in July. But being positive is always a good thing, no? Amidst the cracks, amidst the cracks of life, there should be some sort of green that happens, no? And the green means um, growing up, developing creativity, something that um just grows um uh, among the cracks no even even moss live in the cracks of rocks rocks no so we always need to be positive dear teachers dear participants because positivity is very very contagious ha huh? kapag positive ang tao parang nahahawa na lahat ng tao so Positive vibes lang tayo, no? Um, share. Share what we need to share. And also, stop the negativism that's happening in the world. Kung gagawa ng comment, huwag na maging negative. Gawin na lang natin positive. Kasi, yung mga yan, forever yan, nasa Facebook, nasa messages, no? So, gawin na lang natin positive. Try natin to be positive. Um, it helps. All right. So we're at the end of our particular uh, session. No, I hope you learned a lot. And as I said, um, this is something that will help you improve your team, improve your relationships, because we will understand a lot already about each other. And this is just for temperaments. Ha? Marami pang mga personalities, uh, tests, and uh, profiles na Alam natin, nandiyan lang siya. But this is a simple way, just to emphasize that we're all different, but we can work together. So, at the end of this webinar, maybe ang take-home nyo is you can write a letter to yourself. This is done by many facilitators in seminars. You can write a letter, and um, this is a letter to yourself, to your future self, knowing the things you learned about yourself today. So, your letter... Yourself, no? A suggestion is you should have a brief description of who you are now and what you do and why you are writing the letter. Your outlook on the future. Example, are you optimistic or pessimistic pa rin? Oh, ko yata type to, ah. uh, Dear self, um, I am optimistic, I am positive that I can change because I know that I am a phlegmatic. Yeah. And then, what you want your life to look like in five years in terms of handling yourself and others. No? Uh, now I understand, dear self, no? Kanyari ako, I understand myself now that I am a phlegmatic. And because of this, now I understand why my husband often, who is a choleric, we clash in many different areas. And yet, now I understand that these are things that I should, under that I should do to be able to improve my relationship. With example, my husband or my child. So it, this is a letter that you can write yourself, no? Para siyang, um, you know, it's a way of you putting down in writing what you learn. So um, you can do this um, after the webinar, but at least it's something that you can do on yourself by yourself, pala. Sorry. So let me leave you with this um, some quotes, no? That I have prepared and. By the way, after my webinar, after this uh, uh, talk, I will be able to usher in some people who can give you some tips on self-care. And these are people or resource people who are um, experts in their own right. They are counselors, there's a pastor's wife later on, and of course a psychiatrist. So this will be beneficial for you 
as an added um, treat already, you know, for all of you for self-care. So, Mother Teresa would say, let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. So, this is true, no? Anyone you encounter from now on today until next time, you should be able to have that person leaving you better and happier. Mm -hmm. Life is like photography for those who are fond of photography. You use the negatives to develop. Hindi po ba? No? Ganda. Life is like photography. You use the negatives to develop. And of course, our favorite from the Bible, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And I leave you with this. Let all you do be done in love. Always love, mga kapatid, mga dear teachers, mga participants. If you do everything in love, then love follows. And if love follows, then there is harmony, there is peace because love overcomes everything. That is speaking from experience and speaking from many years of dealing with people. So, God bless you. I'll see you later when we do our question and answer. Don't be shy. Put in your questions. We can ask. You can ask us later on. We will answer you later on. But uh, please uh, uh, stay on and listen to our video videos on self care. Bye and God bless you all. Good morning, everybody. I bring you greetings from the beautiful place of Tagaytay City. I would like to thank Messiah, my Messiah Publishing Company for allowing me to share at least two tips on how we can be healthy mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. The first one is to be thankful. So the Word of God encourages us to be thankful in everything. Um, whether you receive good news or whether you receive not so good news, <clears throat> whether you are experiencing difficulties or whether you are experiencing abundance, the Lord wanted us to, to give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus because we know that God is all-knowing and sovereign. And he know, we know that he is in control. So we can give thanks. And one way of giving thanks is appreciating the beauty of his creation. Um, like where I am now, I can see the beautiful lake of Taal Volcano. It's a beautiful day. It's a sunny day. Um, there's a lot of plants and trees. Um, quiet place. So we need times like this, a time to rest, to be with the Lord, and a time to, to reflect on what God is doing in our lives. So be grateful. The second thing that I want to share with you for us to be emotionally free from baggages that we have is to, to forgive. The Lord encourages us to forgive. The Bible, in the Bible it says, forgive so that you will be forgiven. If you do not forgive, our Heavenly Father will not also forgive you. Forgiveness means not counting the pay, not counting the cost or whatever the person has done to you, you don't count it. Like, pag may utang sa'yo 1,000, hindi nakakabayad, patawarin mo, hindi mo nasisingili ng 1,000. Diba? Kapag ka, um, ichinismis ka, you forgive the person. If the person offended you, then you forgive. Because if you forgive, you are releasing yourself from pain and bitterness. And that makes you ha have to have a fellowship with the Lord. If 
you do not forgive, the Lord will not also forgive you. That is very clear. It means that if you do not forgive, then your fellowship with God will be hindered, will be cut off. As a Christian, our relationship with God is permanent. However, if we sin against the Lord, like for example, not forgiving another person, I know it's not easy, it's difficult to forgive, especially those closest to your heart. It could be your parents who offended you, have hurt you when you were small. Sometimes we still carry those pain, those baggages. It could be your father, your mother that did something wrong with you. That you have difficulty letting go. Even up to now, you're still harboring that bitterness in your heart. Let go. It could be your spouse for hurting you emotionally, physically, even economically. Taking advantage of you economically. Forgive. Release that person so that actually you're actually releasing yourself from further harm that that person can do to you by forgiving the him or her. So it could also be your friends, closest friends who offended you. Of course, those who will hurt us the most are those closest to us. It could be our children or our siblings, no? So we forgive them and trust the Lord that what He's doing, He is, He knows what He's doing and He is in control. So thank you. So remember to be grateful, to give thanks in everything, and to have rest. Take time to rest, to reflect on God's goodness. And second is to forgive. If there are anything, anyone uh, who did wrong to you, forgive. Forgiveness means you don't count against that person what he has done. You release the person from um, from what he did to you. It's not easy. It's only in the power of the Holy Spirit that we can do that. Thank you and have a blessed day. Isang malapit na shoutout sa mga educators at mga teachers na sa aking paniniwala ay nagta-transition at hinaharap yung mga challenging times of transitioning from online to on-site. I know these days may be a little bit challenging pero the fact that we can forecast and anticipate yung mga beautiful challenges na ito ay malalagpasan natin ito sa tulong at sa biyay ng ating Panginoon. As a counselor myself, it's just fitting to uh, remind ourselves na importante yung pag-learn uh, to say no o pag-set ng mga boundaries sa mga situations at mga activities that are seemingly engaging or tempting because uh, sometimes it would cost us money, resources at uh, time na rin no at uh, para to pave way to uh, equally important uh, routines at commitments natin like family alam naman natin uh, our home should be the haven for holistic healing so developing and spending a lot of quality and quantity time with our loved ones should facilitate a lot of affirmation sa atin na tayo ay uh, may active tsaka maturing connections with our loved ones. Pangalawa, ay uh, do not hesitate to always include sa iyong ating mga routine yung uh, pag-engage sa mga hobbies that not necessarily expensive pero that would give us some entertainment, amusement, mga breaks sa ating mga rutinary at mga repetitive na mga gawain throughout the week. Like a baking or biking, joining with uh, some of your friends na na zumba every weekend. O kaya ay uh, yung pagpapatuloy sa naging kasanayan natin na pagiging plantito at plantita na alam naman, green will always be therapeutic to our eyes. So, the more that you uh, get in touch with greens at uh, nagtatanim, nagdidilig, ay nagiging, uh, maano yan, nagiging therapeutic para sa atin. But of course, last but not the least, as a Christian counselor myself, this is to encourage and pray that uh, we would really desire to uh, spend a lot of quantity and quality time communing with God para tayo lagi na replenish ng love, ng grace, ng patience sa mga estudyante na handle natin na alam din natin nagtatransition din, nakatulad din natin. It may be difficult no, for a while, pero 
as we experience and receive yung enabling grace ng Panginoon ay uh, we get to be replenished so that every single day will be an invitation to acknowledge the strength of God na pwede talaga nating maranasan and we get to communicate that sa ating mga batang tinuturuan so that they too will be inspired and we will be empowered the way we receive that from the Lord Jesus Christ. So speaking blessings and favor to run after each and every one of you as we continue to honor God with our ministry and vocation. Blessings! When we receive a new gadget, like a mobile phone, a home or an office equipment, there is a manufacturer's manual that we read. And there is also an instruction how to take care of the product. We too were created, and what better way to know how to do self-care than to read the instruction manual our Creator gave us, and that is His Word, the Bible. So tip number one, read our Creator's manual, the Bible, for effective self-care. Tip number two, know your worth. The more we know how precious an item or a person is, the more we pay attention to it or and to that person. So what is your worth? In Psalms 139 verse 13 and 14 says, For you created my inmost being. You need me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 it says, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works. And in Genesis 1, 27, God himself said, so God created mankind in his own image. For you to give attention to self-care, you need to realize your worth, not based on what others think, your stature, status, achievement, or how others treat you. Say to yourself, that you are a beautiful and a unique person. At hindi ito pambobola. Say, sabi nga ng iba, no, only moms can say that to their child, na maganda ang kanyang anak. That's not a lie. Because God first said it, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you are beautiful. God said it, and that settles it. So take care of yourself, because you are precious, unique, and most of all, love. Now say to yourself, I am beautiful. I am unique. I am loved. So tip number three, know your purpose. If we find our watch, our computer, our mobile phone to be very purposeful to us, we take good care of it, diba? We're not an it. We were created with a purpose. He said, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So we were created not just to breathe air, to work, to relax, day in and day out. Each one of us has been given a mission in life and we are to determine His plan for us, our part, our role in it. To know His purpose is like meeting the president of the school, of the owner or the owners of the school and hearing them declare their intention for putting up that educational institution. They have a vision and you see yourself in it. You want to be part of that fulfillment. You are a teacher with a, res with a very big responsibility, a God-sized assignment. What is God's vision for each student that you come across? What is your part in it? Take your part as a commission and not just from the school administration, but a calling from God. It is a vocation and not just a profession. With that in mind, you need to be fit, healthy in body, mind, and spirit for His plans to be fulfilled in and through you. So if you are still in doubt of your worth and purpose, go and read God's manual, the Bible for yourself, and have a deep conversation with your Creator. Let your worth and purpose be your motivation in doing self-care wholeheartedly. Blessings be upon you.
Good morning, everyone. So I'm here to talk about self-care. Okay, I understand you're all teachers, and I'm also working in my in the educational setup in the park, but uh, as a guidance counselor. Okay, why is self-care important? Self-care is very important, especially for people working in the helping profession. Caring for ourselves has the same importance as caring for others. So this uh, rule number one, be nice to others. Rule number two, be nice to yourself. When you attend to yourself, it doesn't mean you're being selfish, but sometimes it's necessary. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, paano ba mahalin ang iyong sarili? How do I love myself? Okay. Now, um, it's just as simple as what we do every day. Make sleep part of your self-care routine. Exercise day as part of your self-care routine. Eat right for self-care. It doesn't mean you have to eat less, but you have to eat right. Say no to others and say yes to your self-care. Sometimes you feel guilty when we say no, when we reject others or forget leaders. But for our own self-care, we, we have to prioritize what is necessary. Take a self-care trip. So during pandemic, a lot of people have difficulty because they can't even go out. They can't even take a trip outside. No? But, uh, I think now we can slowly go out and uh, just follow that process. Number six, let that that help you with your self-care. I myself used to be very afraid of dogs. But now, our dog is our best friend. Take care of yourself by getting organized. So when things are so cluttered, it really speaks so much of ourselves. Sobrang bulo ng buhay natin. Then uh, read a book about self-care. Schedule your self-care time and guard the time with everything you have. So it can be just going out for a manicure, pedicure, massage, um, have a bath. This is a uh, hot bath. Okay. But um, take a walk, just be quiet, just rest, uh, watch a movie, watch a Netflix. Uh, watch and eat something on the TV. All of these are just self care. And of course, uh, the most important thing have someone to talk to. You need a friend. Just call a friend, chat with a friend. And all this is what you call self care. Now, there are also some few exercises you can do on your own. Like, um, of yourself, uh, say, you'll be okay, you're beautiful, you are wrong. You will feel better. When you feel better, then you can start giving out of yourself and start helping others as well. Thank you for this sharing. Hello, I'm back. Did you have a good webinar? Did you, you know, understand more of yourself right now? Or did you understand others as well? Or do you understand others as well? I had so much fun doing this webinar. In fact, I wanted to share more. And if you want me to share more, then we can do that uh, in our future webinars as well. Uh, right now, we can 
put your uh, put your questions on the chat box and your major takeaways. But until we see other comments, and I see already some insights here, you know, like for instance, from issue of negation, there is a variations in temperament can best be blended together when we try to see things from the other person's perspective and pursue building every relationship that we need. So very good insight. Thank you for this, Ms. Ichu. And others can also just continue to put in your uh, comments or your insights as well. While we're doing that, let's have a quick break. break. Uh, we can listen right now to somebody who will render a song. It's uh, actually a band called Soul Driven. It's a song number and um, the lead singer is one of uh, the students of one of our teachers, Miss Bethany Remigio, Remigio as a lead singer. So let's just listen to this. Take a break and write down whatever it is that you want to discuss later in the question and answer. And we'll be answering all of that later. So let's watch this video.
Okay, thank you so much. So driven. Diba? Ang ganda ng kanilang song, ang pangako. Ay, talaga napaka blessing talaga si So Driven. And the rendering is something worth listening to again and again. So more power to So Driven. So much. Uh, maasahan talaga ang Panginoon natin sa kanyang mga pangako. So now we're now ready. If you have any questions, um, For me, ako pala ang sasagot lang pala. Wala naman palang ibang speakers kasi our other speakers were actually just sent the videos to us. So, um, type in your questions if you have. I saw one question here by Pastor Elias and he actually asked, can a person change from one type of personality to another because of his or her environment? Yeah, that's a very valid question, Pastor, and I appreciate this question. Because indeed, some of us would think na I'm born with this personality, I cannot change. And that is not that is not true. That's entirely false. As I mentioned this uh kanina, this earlier webinar, I said that um you are born with your temperament, your rock. It's your rock. So when you say it's your temperament, it's the way you emotionally deal with situations. However, your personality can change on the basis of what? Your IQ, on the basis of your environment, such as what Pastor Elias mentioned here. Because when a child, for instance, is a sanguine, generally a person who would be happy or would be very popular among children of his or her age. However, when if he grows up in a very negative environment, somebody who grows up in an environment that is so constricted that you tend to already uh, put boundaries on a sanguine person, then that person will eventually, yes, will be become a different personality at home because of the restrictions. But if you see this person outside of the home, he will be entirely different. He will release his sanguine personality. So circumstances can change. No? It can change. But the rock, the, the temperament of this person is intact. Case in point, I am a phlegmatic. Believe it or not, I am. But when situations call me to do a webinar, go somewhere and do hosting, I take up the job. And you think of me probably later on as a sanguine, but I'm not. I am a phlegmatic. My, I always like peace. I, I want calm. I don't want pressure. So it changes me from one person to another. But If you look at me, my rock, who I am, I am a phlegmatic, phlegmatic melancholic. So yes, you can change your personality because it is your emotions, it is your um, circumstance, your character, actually, your personality is your character. It can change from one environment to another. But take note, you are still a sanguine, a choleric, or a melancholic. Or phlegmatic. So, this is one thing that you can take into consideration when actually, when your mga parents jan, pwede po na pag may lumiligo sa mga anak nyo, for instance, no, anak nyo ay sanguine, tapos mayroon lumiligo sa kanila, sanguine din. Paano kayo magiging buhay nila? Puro party, no? No, wala na. So, hindi naman ko sinasabi na bigyan nyo ng personalities, pero observations na yun. para they can get along from them. Or kung phlegmatic, maging asawa ng anak nyo, phlegmatic, phlegmatic din siya. Baka mo ngayon yan, ano kaya ang magiging buhay ng dalawin nyo, no? Pero silang mabagal kumilos, indecisive minsan, peace loving, so walang adventure. So, yun, yun lang. These are things that you can uh, consider as well. So, what else? Um, There used to be a question to me before, no? And this is one question that I will read to you because I have conducted this webinar many times before. 
ang tanong ganito, in this digital era, how can we improve relationships with people? Okay. So, yeah, mas madali pa itong during this pandemic digital era because we can reach out to as many people as possible through digital tools, through apps. And it will not be very different from dealing with people face to face. In fact, you'll we'll be able to reach out to more people and understand them more. The problem there is really the reactions of people towards you because sometimes they just cover it up with uh, when you talk about uh, relationship or you talk about reacting to people on the screen. It's very different. You don't actually see their real reactions or feel them mararamdaman mo sila however it can it can still improve relationships because you're actually talking to people you're not talking to a robot you're not talking to a um somebody who is not responsive for as long as there is a response for people then you can still improve your relationships in this digital era it will not change if the process only or the, the the use the use of the tool is there and it will always be there it, 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 you know it's part already of our of our life as teachers as uh, parents as um, adults to be able to use this digital tool so uh, take heart dear teachers it will not change we are still going or at best can improve our relationships even through digital digital world. So are there any other questions that I might want to answer? Thank you so much for your comments here. I have read them already. Galing kay Maria Nelita. Thanks for the time listening here at Ilaga Isabella. Wow, Ms. Para. Thank you for listening and thank you for your participation, Maria Nelita. So much. Right now, we also want to mention that if you want your e-certificate, you can answer our evaluation form, which we will be sending to you in this link, well, in your email or even here, we can send it to you so that you can answer us, uh, inform us about what is to be improved in our webinar. If there's something, you want any topics to be discussed in the future, then we'll be very happy to uh, tell you also if we can oblige with those suggestions. Okay. At this point in time, we would also like to announce meron pala kaming early bird. We have an early bird. Somebody who was here very early at 8.30 in the morning. And this person is no other than Mr. Raymond Abayari. So ito po si Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much, Sir Raymond. Clap. Mag-clap naman tayo kay Sir Raymond. And dito po siya aga-aga po niya. And for that, Sir Raymond, we will be sending you something. I love gift po pa sa inyo. Kasi napaka-aga niyo po. At hanggang ngayon, nandito pa rin po kayo. So we'll be sending you po a love gift. A special gift for you po. Just uh, we will communicate po with you later po. In um, uh, privately po. Pag-usap po po. Salamat po sa iyong napakaagang presensya dito sa ating webinar. And at this point, kung wala naman masyadong questions, siguro maliwanag lahat ng ating sinabi dito sa mga questions masyado. I'd like to share with you a... Uh, I would like to share with you... Uh, my screen as an ending to whatever it is that we have started. So I'd like to share with you my screen. So I'd like to leave you with this, with this. I'd like to quote from the Bible that we should be able to adapt, adapt our personal relationships in accordance with Galatians. 
on me. According to Galatians. No? So what is it according to um, our Bible verse? No? It's to love to have a friendly attitude and one person. So these are things that we'll be able to apply for all types of personalities or temperaments. So number one is to love, of course, not to have a friendly attitude and you are concerned with other people. Number two, joy. It means to remain happy no matter what circumstances you are. So let's continue to have joy in our hearts. Then to have peace, accepting, being non judgmental and non critical of other people, so that we can have balance and peace among ourselves. Let's also have patience. Let's just practice patience to wait. Patience means waits for people to change. No, people may not change instantly, they not change immediately, they change in the number of months, years, bagal. So let's have patience with other people because change is coming. So let's wait for people to change. Let's have kindness as well. Stay pleasant even when others are proud you. Be kind to them. So if you're kind to them, you become pleasant to them, they will be able to open up with us. Let's continue to have faithfulness. This means consistently we keep our word. When we say yes, it's a yes, and no, it's a no. We keep our commitments to one another, our promises to one another. We became we become faithful to one another when we talk about our um, agreements. You know? So let's continue to be faithful to each other. And of course, goodness. You know? Let's not forget goodness. Think well of other people, and uh, we are fair with them. We do not think of them as bad. Walang masamang tinapay sana sa mga iba. Of course, you should practice gentleness, and this is speaking softly and gently. Because when people talk to each other in a loud voice, our first reaction ng mga paaksyon is loud din ang voice. In person action. So let's try to be gentle when we speak to each other in soft and gentle manners. And to have self control, to keep one strong even when others are weak. Continue to be strong in ourselves so that we can help others in their own weaknesses. And no one is perfect, dear teacher. So Let's try to memorize these nine virtues from Galatians to improve all our relationships. At this point, I would like to ask all of us to open our video cam so that we can have our picture taking. No? Para karon tayo ng konting Gaganda pala ng hindi. Huwag ko na kayo nakikita. O. Nakikita ko na kung sino dyan ang ang choleric at sino dyan ang sanguine sa mga ngiti nyo. Ang kita ko na. <laughs> so, let's smile, no? And we will ask our admin. Ayan. Gaganda pala ng hindi. Dapat kanina pa kayo dapat nagpakita sa akin. O. Okay, let's try to smile and we'll wait for our admin to take a picture. Okay, so again, Mr. Admin, sir, take a picture. Smile lang, smile and smile. Okay na? Mukha okay na. Mabilis lang ang smile. Pwede pa rin tayo lumiti pa rin hanggang ngayon. <laughs> Gamamaya. At this point, thank you, Ichu, because you're chewing on what you said, not what I said about changing personalities and unchanging them. Thank you. We can experience changing personalities in response to situations, environment. Can we apply 
the suggestion mentioned earlier. Okay. Huwag naman po tayo magkaroon ng multiple personalities. Iba ho yun. Iba ho yun. Iba ho yun. No? Huwag tayo magkaroon ng multiple personalities. Gusto ko po blended. Huwag po per, huwag, huwag multiple. So, iba ng topic yun. So, if we don't have any other questions, any other comments, Ay, Ramina, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you also uh, to Agnes from Agnes and Any other messages? Thank you so much for, for all of you. You have made my day. You have made all our day. Thank you so much to our admin people, our My Messiah Publishing House webinar team who continues to be with me despite the difficulty of running this webinar. I am so blessed to be with you. So with that, maraming salamat po. Let's uh, show you our video once more. And until po our next webinar, God bless everyone. Stay safe, stay strong, and continue to love on you. Thank you so much, Paul.
I'm blessed Get up to praise and be filled with praise Your desire to inspire Dreams and promises that you will pray My Messiah, my Messiah When I'm weak you gave me power My Messiah, my Messiah You're the one that I desire Your words give light in my Day. You gave me joy and love in so many ways, Mama Zion. With every step that I take, with every choice that I make, you will be there for me, Mama Zion. Your words give light in my darkest day. 